technical problem, but that's bad. That's right. We're all set there. And in fact, it really will set the scene overall of what happened March 2nd, 2012. By 8 a.m., the meteorologists who issue severe weather outlooks for the nation at the Storm Prediction Center declared the tri-state in a rare high-risk bullseye for severe weather. Over the past 10 years, only three to six days have ever been deemed high-risk days. So the atmosphere was primed, and the first tornado of the day whacked Carrollton, Kentucky at 344 in the afternoon with 95-mile-an-hour winds. This EF-1 was a football field and a half wide and stayed on the ground for two and a half miles. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Residents got lucky. There was shingles going everywhere. I mean, I seen shingles that were 20 or 30 feet long. The roads were flooded. It, it was crazy. I mean, there was trees down everywhere. Just nine minutes later, not even four o'clock yet, Holton, Indiana would see one of the worst tornadoes of the day. Two people would die, with six getting hurt, when a monster tornado swept across this small town. A tornado the size of three and a half football fields had winds to 145 miles an hour. This EF3 stayed on the ground for nine miles. It was just like it just stunned you. At 424, three people in Owenton were hurt when an EF2 tornado cut a five mile long path, hitting speeds of 125 miles an hour. 125 miles an Clearly, hour. the atmosphere was overloaded. Just five minutes later, the strongest tornado of the, the, day, tornado of the day killed four people and hurt eight others. An EF4 tornado with winds of 175 miles an hour crippled an area with near complete destruction between Crittenden and Piner, Kentucky. This was the first EF4 since the infamous Xenia outbreak in 1974. This violent storm stayed on the ground for nine miles and was a half a mile wide. Half a mile wide. Like a train running through my house. It was the scariest thing I've ever heard. Only 10 minutes later, another separate giant tornado hit Moscow, Ohio, killing three people as winds hit 160 miles an hour and incredibly stayed on the ground for a full 23 miles. This EF3 actually started in Peach Grove, Kentucky, skipped the river to Moscow, and continued to Bethel and Hamersville, according to the National Weather Service. My youngest daughter and I hurried up and got into the closet, followed by my boys and my husband. We shut the door, and within a matter of seconds, the whole house, the whole building was shaking. Then the windows were all blown in. Uh, you could hear the wind gusting through the house. It was just really, really insane. Within the next hour, another tornado hit Bracken County, Kentucky, and three more tornadoes ravaged Adams County, Ohio, where three people were hurt in West Union. The final count? Nine tornadoes in under two hours, making this day the worst tornado outbreak in tri-state history. Right where we're standing, of course, part of that uh, EF3 outbreak, that one storm technically spawning two tornadoes as it jumped the river uh, after uh, more analyzation of the process. But nevertheless, that same storm traveling 23 miles. Quite amazing. Now, naturally, we're going to have more on uh, this historic 24 hours that uh, was a year ago. But right now, we check things out in the news of the day.